All right, so today's mission, rivets, okay? And you would think rivets would be pretty freaking easy with this stuff, with Sculpey, but no, they are, it is not. It's not even close. Um, they have tools, they're called the pearlized tools, but the rivets are too big. And what I need is really small rivets. So I'm going to show you how to make a rivet tool. This is a piece of four gauge copper. Okay, you can use four gauge or six gauge. I'll show you how it works. You know, I got some clay in the background here. I'll just steal some clay. Got this ball. Pop on a rivet. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, you can do it all day long. And it does take a little bit of practice. But, you can see, works great. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. And here we go. Kind of rotate it as you go. There, nice and straight. And since copper gets hard as you hit it, it becomes a hardened tool. All right. Next, I'm just going to flush the ends. You can see this end is kind of flush but I need it flat see it's got a little barb on it Nice. Alright, you're going to have to need some kind of vise to put it in. I just happen to have this thing, but you can use anything. Just uh, try to keep a little bit out like that. And then you're going to need one of these. This is a center punch. So when you press down, it makes that noise. We're gonna center punch the center of this. All right, this is where it takes a little concentration, so I'm try to do this. And trust me when I say it, if you don't get it in the exact center, just kind of move it around a little bit. And just kind of keep doing that until it's centered. Alright, now we're going to take a really small drill bit. And you might want to try different variations of this. It's, I think this one's a sixteenth of an inch and I'm just going to drill the end. Again, I'm going kind of slow. I have a, a thing called a Fordham. And what I'm doing is trying to center the drill. Nice. Alright, once you're done with that, you're going to flush the end in. 
Here's another way to do that. So take a really, cool, not coarse stone, but semi-coarse stone, and just do that. So the end, if you look at it, kind of looks like that. So you can see that there's real, uh, let's see if I can show you this. Hey, let's choose to show you the smallest thing in the world. See how it's like, uh, it's got like a little tiny edge right there. So I'm going to sharpen that by doing this on that stone. Okay, so now you see it's a lot sharper. So your, your thing is you want to try to get that as even as possible going all the way around. All right, now we got to polish it. Okay, so there's a preliminary just kind of polish. Now you can use whatever rubbing compound you want for this. That was zip, by the way. Zip buffing compound. Oh, this stuff is so amazing. You can use that stuff from Harbor Freight, though, if you wanted to. That red rouge, that works really good for copper, too. Okay, so there we go. Now I just gotta clean out the end because it's got buffing compound in it. All right, to use your rivet tool, you just need a piece of tile or glass, and you basically go like this, you press down, wiggle it, slide, and you grab a piece of Sculpty. And the first couple are gonna you know, be stuck in there as far as like it's got a uh, goop. <laughs> Look at that, that's beautiful. So it does take a little bit of practice. I'll show you a variation of this too. Okay, so here's another one I made. 
This time I like distress the end, which is basically pounded on, pounded like a nail on the head of it, and then I flattened it off, and then I did the the trick I just showed you. So this one has, if you could kind of look at it, it has a wider head on it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh. seems to work just a little bit better, I don't know, maybe it's a perception thing. Yeah, see how it lays on the surface a little bit better? So, we might want to try making a couple of them. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's a 4 gauge rivet tool. And you can see that, you know, it looks a little, so here's the other one compared to that. So if it has an internal lip, just make sure it doesn't, because anytime it does have an internal lip, that's where it's not going to give up the rivet. It has to be a smooth bore on the inside. And you have to kind of press down to get the load it up and then it's just like a touch and a rotate and a pull yeah I got it down so you gotta practice with this little guy oh. just have a piece of clay over to the side to steal the rivets and then over here press rotate off Boom. I love this right this texture it's just like a, oh, cool stuff and you can diffuse it with all kinds of crazy stuff so that is the rivet tool enjoy <laughs>